Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The first time you've seen this outfit, you're right, and you're gonna see it again. Well, Yep, you're gonna see it again. You're gonna see it one more time. Yes, I thank you guys so much for coming back. Today I have my first speedy review and I cannot take credit for this idea. My girl Tina Marie over at her channel, she uh, was doing speedy reviews. I don't know if she still does them anymore. She might. I will have her channel link down below. Hey girl. I remember her doing a couple of speedy reviews. They weren't very long, of course, you know, just quick quick points about the product did I like it did I love it did I hate it is it going in the trash you know what I'm saying so this is gonna be my first one and I definitely want to do about two of these a week at least one a week but definitely two a week so the first speedy review product that we have for today is the NYX can't stop won't stop concealer I did do a first impressions on this concealer if you have not checked out that video what are you doing with your life like go watch it. I did do a first impressions on this um, concealer and I'm just going to get into the nitty gritty about it. So I have it in the shade neutral tan. It comes in an array of shades, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of shades. I got mine from Ulta and it was, I'm gonna lie to you if I try to remember. So I'm just gonna put it up on the screen cause I don't remember. But I wanna say for some reason, like it was like $11 or something. So I got mine from Ulta and I think it was like $11 but I'll put the right price here or here or somewhere. So I use my concealers to highlight. I don't use my concealers to cover up any dark circles or any marks, hyperpigmentation. I really don't need that. Even though I do have hyperpigmentation, I don't use concealers to cover them up. I don't have dark circles. I do have bags sometimes because your girl be stressed. I only use my concealers to highlight and I put it here, 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 sometimes here and here. It has a very light smell. Kind of chemically but not strong at all because I hate that so I really enjoy the fact that it's not a super strong concealer so it won't burn your eyes I have semi sensitive eyes and stuff gets in my eyes I get irritated I get ugh but this concealer did not do that when I put it on my face for some reason I feel like it was gonna be dry matte and cracky but it wasn't it was smooth it was almost like a dry jelly this is the best way I could describe this concealer, which is a dry jelly. It was jelly-like, it was really smooth. So I'm gonna say that it wasn't thick. It definitely isn't thin though. Whatever the consistency is, I'm really loving it. I'm gonna go ahead, I've got a thousand swatches on my hand, but I'm, I am gonna go ahead and swatch it here. So as you can see, this is one swipe, thin enough to go ahead and soak into the skin when you are um, applying it. I like to use mine with a wet beauty blender. Very seldom do I use brushes to put my concealer in. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but normally it's a beauty blender. It's a sponge, whatever, so I did use the sponge. Every time I've used this, I've used the sponge and I've absolutely loved it. I do set it with a sponge as well. I did take maybe a couple of seconds over to set it and it did not get dry, cracky, creasy, um, it didn't move. You know, sometimes you can put, um, you can start to blend it out after you kind of let it sit for a little bit. And then it's like you're taking off big chunks of it, but this concealer did not do that. It doesn't like clump up and get dry and just come kind of come off in patches. It did not do that at all. I'm not wearing it today. I'm actually wearing something else, but I have been wearing this lately. I think in the past three videos, I've worn this and I have worn it just on a regular basis going to work if I do my makeup or whatever. They do have a powder and they do have a hydrating primer. If you guys wanna see reviews on that, let me know down in the comments because I am not oily. I mean, I'm super oily, I'm not dry skinned. So a hydrating primer is kinda like, what am I do with that? But if you guys wanna see it, I will definitely pick it up and give it a go. And also if you guys wanna see the powder, also let me know down in the comments below as well. I love this. I'm gonna go ahead and give this an A plus. I do have some videos of me using it. You guys can def definitely check out my channel to see those. I love the consistency, I love the color. I think neutral tan is gonna be a perfect color for my winter and summertime face. I love using it with a beauty blender. If you have used it with a brush, make sure to let me know down below and let everyone else know if you like it with a brush. If you don't like 
apply with a brush, try with a beauty blender. I really think you would like that a lot better. Let me know what you guys think down below about the NYX Case That Won't Stop Concealer. It definitely gets an A on the indie scale. Thank you guys so much for coming back. I hope you guys enjoyed these little speedy reviews. This one's gonna be a little long because I don't know how to stop talking. The future ones, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna shut up. So like right now, I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna leave. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Hit the bell notification button so you are notified when I post a new video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.